Fast integration uses the weighted batch preprocessing script in a different way to the one we're used to in deep sky photography. In this video, we're going to create the master lights of images of M57 taken with a monochrome camera and RGB filters. First, we're going to pre-process them with WBPP. Here we have 100 images with an exposure time of 10 seconds for each filter, the flats, and the darks. We have to separate the darks by exposure time because the 1.2 second ones are dark flats and the 10 second ones are darks for the light frames. We're therefore going to decrease the exposure tolerance to one second so that the script separates them. Now the flats have their respective darks. To work with fast integration, all we have to do is calibrate the lights. We therefore need to uncheck the boxes for all the pre-processing operations so that WBPP executes the calibration only. For fast integration, we recommend applying a cosmetic correction of hot pixels if the camera have many of them or in case they are not rejected in the integrated images. Finally, we select the output directory. Now we have the calibration settings we want, we can execute the script. Once WBPP has finished, we can continue with fast integration. First, we add the R filter images. And we select the first R filter image as the reference image. We're going to use this R image as the reference for all three filters. This means that the three master lights will already be aligned with each other because they've all had the same reference image. We have enough RAM, so we'll slide the integration batch size and prefetch count sliders to the maximum values. Finally, if we want to write the registered images or the drizzle files to disk, we need to select the output directory. This will be the master light for the R filter. Now we repeat the process with the G filter images. And this is the master light for the G filter. And we repeat the process again with the B filter images. And here's the master light for the B filter. Now we open channel combination and generate a color master light using these three images. As we only used WBPP to calibrate the images, the masters we get with fast integration don't have an astrometric solution. If we want to calibrate the color, we therefore need to calculate the astrometric solution separately with Image Solver. Remember, if the FITS headers are correct during acquisition, the color master light will inherit the approximate coordinates of the center of the image, the date, pixel size, and focal distance from the subframes. 
Once we've calculated the astrometric solution, we can do the color calibration with SPCC. To do this, we select an area of the sky background, select our camera settings and filters. And now we have our color image of M57 acquired using the fast imaging technique and with the color calibrated. Now we can carry on processing the color image as we usually would.